My name is Greg McMahon. I'm uh, be 50 years old a uh, week after Ironman and been in a wheelchair 33 years today. I got injured back when I was in high school here in Louisville. I was on a sun deck just talking to some buddies at a party and leaned on the rail and the rail just snapped and broke and I fell about 10 feet and broke my back and I've been in a lot of wheelchair sports over the years on and off and, and just always been wanting to do an Ironman. Been thinking about it ever since I first saw it on TV. A turning point for me was probably about three years ago. I got really heavy, I wasn't very active and I was literally just jumped out of bed, had trouble getting in my wheelchair, always worried about falling, I was 300 pounds and and literally the, the thought of Iron Man crossed my mind and I, and I probably thought about it every day. I'm sitting there going, you gotta either let this go or do something about it. Now's my time to do that. You know, I wanna I wanna try to see if I can do this. You know, a lot of wheelchair sports you're a little different. Like in a, a running race you're a little faster, bikes are slower, but the triathlon community's been different. Everybody is so supportive for everybody. It's not like I gotta beat you and you gotta beat me or I'm worried about you. I could not have even got here without other people. You know, like coaches and friends, and it's the most accepting group of people I've ever met. I got to know Greg at a race, a local race, and just super inspired by him. And so I think I finally convinced him to let me coach him. It took a while. <laughs> when I think about that one person besides family that's been constant through this year, she's been there to kick my butt a little bit or just be supportive. And, you know, I've never had coaches with sports before and she's been that, that value of a coach of, you gotta get out there, you gotta go figure this out, you gotta do this, and I needed that little bit more push. I probably wouldn't have done as much without her. Good job, don't, don't let her pass you. You got it, good. You know, and a lot of my stuff over the years I've done on my own, and you kinda get isolated a little bit. It's been a little bit of a barrier for me to just be willing to take the help. And people wanna help. I mean, I wanna help others, you know? If I got something I can help, I want to do it. And that's just the nature of the sport. I wish people would just do triathlons to experience that. And I cannot go through my day without somebody asking me how I'm doing about the Ironman, you know. He is uh, inspirational because he does not view his disability as a brick wall. Everybody does have a story. They've got some something they've overcome emotionally, spiritually, physically. They have overcome stuff I couldn't overcome or I would think I couldn't. And this is a sport, even though it's individual, I really feel like we're all in it together. He is just like any other athlete. It takes a lot of motivation, but he is determined. And like I said, I could not be more proud of him in this journey. I mean, it's almost hard to imagine that, uh, you know, something you think about for so long, I mean, like it could really happen. I mean, Sunday night, I could be crossing that finish line and I want to get there and feel that. I don't. I felt it from the other side, but I, I can't imagine what it's going to feel like. I may sit there for a while. <laughs>